Love and special sauce. I like cold beverages. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. Hey, you can play this G7 chord over here on the D, G, and B strings like this if you like. And then... That's also a nice G7 inversion. So the first one, I got my first finger on the fourth fret of the G, my second finger on the fifth fret of the D, and my fourth finger on the sixth fret of the B. And I go... Just drag the pick across. Okay, so I'll show you the rest of that. So if we do... That's the main riff, and then the chorus riff goes... Uh, C chord there with my index finger barred across the fifth uh, fret G, D G and B string. You could also play like a C C C seven down there if you like. I'm just adding another finger there, sort of change the fingering. To get that real funky sound, if you pick oh, this is a Les Paul, he's playing some kind of weird funky guitar but pick way back by the bridge you get a lot of okay that voicing is also important in this tune way up here at the 10th fret it's a G9 voicing the first fingers at the 8th fret of the D uh, middle fingers at the 10th fret of the A, and then your third fingers barred across the top three strings at the 10th fret. It's a G9. Occasional O. He employs that in the cold, 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 just chromatic like that. So that's a, a G flat or an F sharp if you like. G9, A flat 9, A9. Cold. And then there's this other little lick. It's nice because he drones the open G strings. And I think that's all of the licks in the tune with a few ton of variables. Oh, stick it in the fridge. Just a little tickle. Stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge, stick it in the fridge. Yeah.